coach back in Seattle. Uh, how's the club looking heading into tomorrow's match? Good, good. I think the I think the Tucson trip was you know a long one. I think they were happy to get home, and you know we gave the players a couple of days off, <clears throat> so it's <clears throat> back to work. And tomorrow is actually a work day, so it, it it fits in with kind of our training program. We have a reintro day, then a work day, so it falls right into place. Do you feel like you hit all the objectives you're looking for in Tucson? Uh, we would like to win a game. Um, I don't know if we accomplished every objective, but certainly we got across some tactics. Uh, we get a chance to look at our our group uh, more as a group, not just individually. So yeah, we got across some good things. What was your biggest takeaway from uh, from this preseason? Biggest takeaway? Uh, well, I mean, the biggest takeaway is it's another preseason in the books. It's all past us. It's behind us. Um, I think the preparation and the uh, way we planned everything was a little bit better. We got the three games. I mean, last year we scrambled a little bit to get a couple games in at the last minute. This preseason, it's all planned in Saturday, 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 Saturday. So I think organizationally we did a good job. And, you know, proof will be in the pudding is all that organizational stuff and all that preparation helps us, but we feel pretty confident that it will. Does that Saturday, Saturday, Saturday schedule, does that mean that uh, fans won't see much of the starters? It'll be a mix of guys tomorrow. It, it, it's a work day, Dave, so whether they play 45 or 90 versus they come here and work with Damien, some, some people might say that Damien's workouts might be a little harder than a friendly. You never know. Speaking of Damien, you know, he's had a while to have his system in place now and a full preseason. Uh, still have a little bit of time between now and the first league match to get legs fully fit. But overall, how do you feel about the fitness of the squad and how ready are they for league play? Well, I think it's always hard to gauge in the sense that, you know, the games are what really kind of drives all of the real fitness. You have to be 90 minute fit. There's a reason for that saying. Um, I think all of the, the guys within our league would tell you that it's how fit your team is in September and October this year, right? Because that's the real measuring stick. Now you get a little flexibility. You don't want to over, overshoot your mark. You want to make sure that in the later parts of the season, um, they're fit and healthy, I should say, as well, because a lot of it is health. Um, but obviously this year we've, we've, we've kind of talked about starting off fast so you know we, we've pushed them. What are your overall thoughts of Jordan Morris and the preseason that he's had? Good. He stayed on the field. No setbacks with his injuries. So all of that it's been a positive. You know switching him you know over on the right side instead of the left side like he played some with Nelson Valdez in 2016. You know having him play spot duty up front playing with two forwards, all of those little nuances, you know, we'll continue to work on, but it's been good. Uh, Danny Leyva, 15-year-old, was one of the most used players in preseason. Uh, what's the thought process behind it, and what do you think of his overall play? Uh, very, very good. He, he's a kid with tremendous talent. Uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's very humble. You know, he's out there still carrying goals, the practice goals off the field, uh, so that makes me smile a little bit. Uh, great kid, great future. Should we read too much into the fact that he was, I think, the only academy kid still here today? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you mean by read into it? That he's, I mean, is there anything, is that, does that say something about what you saw in Tucson? Yeah. Uh, we really like the kid. Um, if he can, if he can continue to do what he's been doing and continue to improve, and you know, last year, if you remember, we had a bunch of academy kids there, and they went really like this, and then they kind of tailed off a little bit. So we're cognizant of that. Um, hopefully, that they've kind of got, because there was, you know, a lot of them there this year as well. Hopefully, they learned a little bit. We're gonna watch them when they play with Defiance, when they train with Defiance, and you know, if any of them are up to the task, we'll, we'll, we'll sign him. What have you seen from Henry Wingo at right back this year that's different than his experiences there last year? Yeah, last year we weren't fully committed to right back. This was a planned, uh, full, you know, full video coaching, 
player bought in, coaches bought in type of commitment with Henry, not just a, okay, let's see what he looks like. So he looks, he, he, offensively, he obviously looks the part. You know, you would just have to work on the nuances of his defending. Is there a player that you kind of see him being like in that role for you? Or is it something that he is uniquely suited to? Uh, well, each player has his own personality that they take and apply to each particular position on the field. Henry is really super fast. He's technically very clean. Those are two starting points for any outside back in any country. So it's just, again, can he pick up some of the nuances? His first job is to defend if you're playing in that position. So, you know, that's some of the stuff that he would have to learn before we would, you know, put him back there for good and anoint him as, you know, as a, as a, as a you know, starter on this team. Oh, what's your, uh, what's your thought and where do you see the roster is right now? Uh, are you satisfied with what you've got? Um, there's a couple of guys, or at least one person on trial still. Uh, so what do you see about with your roster right now? Yeah, Saad is still here. Um, we are running a little light, but you know Garth and Chris and Adrian, they're they're working on that. We've 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 got some targets. We've had some targets, so you know another player or two would certainly help. Just you know, knock on wood in case there's any sort of injury. Um, but overall, we're happy with the squad. I mean, it's a it's a very experienced uh, group, and if they can you know stay healthy, I think we have a good chance to get off to a fast start. Roman Torres left early in the Arizona camp. What, what was the reason behind that? Surprised you don't know already, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> it's nothing. It, look, he, guys come and go. Yeah, uh, you know, it's 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 just all part of the normal preseason. And he's here. You guys watched him train. He was in a good spirits, good mood. Happy to have Roman. Is it, is it normal that a guy that should be maybe fighting for a starting position didn't play three of the preseason games? No. It's, it's, it, look, anything that Roman and I discuss, we'll keep inside. Um, I, I, I just think it's normal. I think it's normal because coaches sometimes have to have conversations with players, star players. And sometimes, you know, it works, sometimes it doesn't. He's here, he's fully committed to the team, and I'm happy he's here. Uh, Handwall mentioned after the Portland game that you guys were working on a different system that tried to get the wingers 1v1 uh, a little bit more. Um, can you talk about that system and maybe how it differs from the way you played last year? The way he played last year? Well, I think it's, it's, it's just an awareness. If you divide the field up in lanes, we never want to have two players in a lane. It's always one here, one here, one here, so the spacing is good. <clears throat> we're trying to get Handwalla into a spot where he can maximize his uh, skill set which we believe is if he starts out wide and is able to drive at the opponents right back, that's an effective strategy for us. So really it's about just all of our players putting them in the best positions they can to be successful.